All right. Hello and welcome back to Vanya's Place. Today we'll be playing A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. This game has something that is pretty unique. They basically have this feature in the game where um, they will use your microphone. Yeah, you got that right. So what do I mean by that? Um, well, if you come here to gameplay, you can notice here called noise detection. Now you can enable this feature or disable it, but we're going to enable it, you know, for the sense of immersion and to show you what this game really is like. And, you know, that's basically what it's got over others, other horror games in this genre. But um, I'm sure if you haven't heard of A Quiet Place till now, it's pretty much a movie slash uh, i think there was a tv show but not too sure anyways it's more so about an invasion of these alien species that basically are very highly reactive to sound so if you were to even step on a piece of glass or water they could easily detect you and kill you they don't have eyes but they track you down with sound alone which is why it's perfectly tied into this game where it uses your microphone. Basically, you can see here, you can set a, tr uh, a threshold. Now I've set it to somewhere about, yeah, 0 0.4, because when I talk with this, you know, you know, when my talking voice stays below like this, when I talk normally, um, it doesn't cross the threshold, but when I get this loud, you can see it crosses the first bar. I figured it's a good way for me to have like a cap to the audio so that I could talk while playing the game and also show you what happens when, you know, you're way too loud for the game. Without any further ado, I'm going to dive right in. Oh yeah, also just so you know, whenever the symbol pops up with the microphone slashed out, it means that it's a safe area. So I could talk as loud as I wanted to be and you know, I could make whatever noise. I'm kind of protected. But there are certain cutscenes I've heard where even though it's a cutscene, you know, you're not safe. You make noise, you get killed. So, yeah. Martin, hold on. All right, so seems like um, Alex is kind of sneaking off somewhere. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get like you know invaded right around this time. Okay, seems like I can't sprint right now. Okay, C is for crouch. Nice environment. Oh, so I just noticed. When you scroll on the mouse wheel, like if you scroll forward, that increases your speed. And if you scroll back, it decreases your speed. So you walk slower. I think that might be tied into walking quietly or walking over objects. Oh, wow. Watch your step. Ah, okay. So we got to... So yeah, walking fast over it will make a lot of noise. Walking slower would make the least amount of noise. I mean, it seems like I can't avoid it, right? Like there's a puddle right here and I can't walk around it. Oh, I see. If you're kind of confused, I guess there you should be looking out for uh, yellow paint. Seems like you can inter interact with uh, objects whenever there's a yellow paint around it. The fuck? I couldn't imagine it being scary in the middle of broad daylight like 
Alrighty. I may have been wrong about that. There's no flashlight or anything, it seems like. I can Oh, I have to go that way, okay. Yeah, the, so the yellow paint. The fuck? Are we getting invaded right now by these aliens or something? Oh, wait a sec. Oh. So you gotta you, you use your mouse to open doors and stuff. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see why they did that. Because um, there might be certain scenarios where you can't open the door that quick. What the fuck? Oh my god, so there's objects that make noise when you come in contact with them, yeah. Seems like the game is set to fucking, you know, get you caught. So you gotta be careful a lot. And like I was saying, the mechanic with the door, it seems like it's there so that, you know, you could slowly pull on a door without making noise or making the least amount of noise. Interesting. Shit. How did that even happen? This guy. You're a fucking child. Yeah, that's a, that's a valid reaction. If you're five. Oh, just admit it. I got you pretty good. No, no, you didn't. I just, I didn't know where you. I mean, he kind of did, but yeah. Alex. And I can't. I can't lose another. What's wrong? Alex, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Does she have like. Hey, 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 what, what do you need? Huh? Alex. Asthma or something? Tell me how to help. Or is she getting like a panic attack? I, I don't know. She, she just. Alex. Well, dude, you freaking did it, man. Can you look at me, dear? Okay, that's it. Just look at me and breathe. Breathe. Day 105. Okay. I think we kind of skipped past. Usually whenever they show something like that in a Quiet Place movie, it means 105 days since invasion. What? We need food, Alex. Without it, the hospital won't make it. Huh. Okay, well, finally, we have a flashlight. But of course, no batteries. Something I'm building could help all of us. Keep quiet. The rain helps. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Yeah, so that's good. At least, at least in the rain, we're a little bit, we got some breathing room, you know? It's kind of like a nice camouflage. I wonder how choreful this game is going to be. Is there going to be a, like a lot of, uh, you know, tiny little stuff to do? But, you know, it slows down the whole process because you got to be quiet. Understood. He's going to go right. I'm going to go left. All right, I must explore the ranch and find supplies where the hospital is screwed. Okay, it seems like we're doing a scavenging mission. Oh damn, this person's talking about like an area where they were able to scream. Okay, man, I must have felt really good. Oh, I can finally sprint. But it's doing something to my lungs, I just noticed. Huh. Maybe it's a stamina thing? Man, it's so fucking dark. Remember hide and seek. There's claw marks and shit. So I can open up my diary. Oh my god, okay.
Locked, of course it's locked. Okay, okay, I see, okay, we gotta find a vent. There should be a vent somewhere. Let dad get the medicine. Infirmary. Locked, of course, okay. That door is locked. And number four locked. Oh, there it seems like there's a key there. Oh, there's a vent here. Locked, locked. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, need screwdriver. Claw marks again. Am I going the right way? Okay, we're out in the open. Oh, yeah, yellow pain, yeah. Good to know, you know, there's a visual cue to uh, kind of let you know. Oh my god, what the fuck? She got lucky. I mean, thank god it's raining and then the lightning thunder. Okay, come on, we can do this. It seems like we reached it. What the fuck? Okay. Five. Okay. Screwdriver anywhere? No screwdriver? No. No, nope, doesn't seem like it. I definitely don't want to fall over. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Okay, so it's used to uh, unscrew, I guess, crates and vents and stuff like that. Oh, you gotta move your mouse. Okay, interesting. I'm guessing the same thing. Oh, yeah. Same thing with that. Okay. So crouch. This is the infirmary, right? Um, okay, I don't think this is the infirmary then. What is going on in here? There's a bunch of motherboards. I remember from the movies, these creatures had a um, had a weakness and it was related to some type of a frequency because there was this little girl who couldn't hear like she was kind of deaf and she wore this uh, earpiece. And I remember the one with the John Christine ski in it. Yeah. And then she makes or they come up with something that works. Um, using that earpiece and it emits a certain type of frequency that disrupts the aliens and even i think with a higher intensity it even kills them maybe maybe we'll be able to make something like that oh it says number four on it oh wait 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 could be for the door upstairs then nice oh what is that? Seems some kind of uh, seem like some kind of a tape. What the fuck happened in here? Claw marks and shit. Just blood all over the bed. Yeah, 
I knew it. She has asthma. Yeah. Oh my god! Don't don't fucking tell me. Don't tell me that she's gonna be pregnant. That's like the worst fucking thing to happen to you. In an invasion with aliens, where they literally kill you based off of sound. Could you imagine having, like, giving birth to a baby? Where the fuck would you even do that? That it, that was a thing in the movie as well. She has a baby and everything. Like, oh my god, that movie was intense. Shit. And yep, she's pregnant. just sucks that they're in an invasion and i'm pretty sure civilization has fell okay i get oh that's what she looks like okay i will keep you safe i mean i feel like she gotta tell him you know at some point he's gonna find out Oh. Oh, I see there's a cut scene. No more pranks, eh? Don't scream, not even in the safe room. Give me your hand. Another prank? Never. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess after she got a panic attack or asthma attack, he definitely won't be doing that anytime soon. Okay, that makes more sense. Asthma, stress. That's why the lungs were yellow. Oh, what the heck? Okay. So she might get, oh my God. She's gonna get attacks while being chased and stuff. turn blue blue is good yellow is kind of like you need to be worried about it and red is like dude you gotta do something asap Supplies. 
First, we bring food back to the hospital, then we'll go to the camp. Time to leave this place, I see. Can I still sprint? Oh, it's not raining anymore. So probably not a good idea to be making too much noise. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that one of them, like something bad is about to happen, isn't it? Of course, he had to kill him off. My God. Okay. Imagine that being a real life situation. Poof, and gone. You can't even scream because your partner's sacrifice would mean like nothing. Alex, how's it going? Any uh, progress with the um... phenometer? Phenom oh, phenometer. That's what she was trying to make? You get it working. If I'm not wrong, a phenometer is a device that is used okay, to detect, rations. I guess, pitch? No. Some kind of, like, sound? Okay. And how about, uh, about I help you with the phenometer? I'm no tech wizard, but... Dad, no, it's not ready. I know, Alex. I mean, I'm just saying that's a terrible hiding place, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? There's, like, you're in a room... With a desk, there's drawers and shit. If you're really gonna try to hide it, then you should do a better job. Two months, maybe. Who else knows? I told Martin before he. <laughs> yeah, Martin is dead. We will all get you through this. Me, Laura. No. Since Martin's death, Mark's been running things, which is bad for everyone. This could give her something to focus on, besides her, her grief. She will never forgive me. Never. Oh, she's gonna find out whether or not we 
tell her? Not... Not if we leave. Leave? There's a, a campsite turned into a National Guard outpost. They've got supplies. Oh, we are not going anywhere. This pregnancy will be... complicated. I can take care of you here. At a half-burned-down hospital out of supplies. Have you actually spoken to anyone at this camp? No, but... So we don't even know if the National Guard is still there. I'll... I'll find proof. No. You need to rest. Dad, please. Look, I'll find proof. Tomorrow I'll look for a radio and see if I can reach someone. And if the National Guard is at the camp? One step at a time. All right? You shouldn't have a dead flashlight. I'll get you back. Yeah, it's about damn time we got some batteries here, I man. Genetics. I'm not sure. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet. Now Mark won't let anyone near it. Okay. I'll collect what I can, so we're ready to leave once you contact the camp. Just be careful. I'll go to the storage room and grab some batteries and pills. All right. Nobody's getting really defensive over there. Okay, well, I already know that. There's a person down there. Hmm. Okay. Pretty sure we gotta follow the sand. Okay. batteries and let me guess medicine oh yeah this area Jesus limits right sorry I, I just heard someone got into the pills and I was worried did he did he fucking follow us or something he did you were in a room just earlier Hey, buddy. Creep. Alrighty. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, what the fuck, dude? Oh. Okay. So Q is to switch between items, and E is also to switch between healing items, okay? Oh. And I can just turn on and off the flashlight with the middle mouse button. Awesome. Locked. Locked, okay. Not this way. I guess we can all uh, work on that device now. Why do you keep leaving this stuff out in the open? Like somebody's gonna see it. And then we're gonna think of her as a liability. How long? Of course, she found out. What are you? How long have you known? The fuck's wrong with this psycho person? Oh my god, like, sh the fuck? Fuck 
fucking alien killed your uh, son. Uh, son? Brother? She seems way too young, but I think she's supposed to be the mother. Oh yeah, nice, okay. Can just unscrew the shit. <laughs> Brother. No, he's walking like that, man. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta hurry up. Through here. Should let you out near the end of this floor. What about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll meet you at the camp. Just follow the train tracks. Now go. But Alex, please. Good job making noise, dumbass. Oh no. I think this is where the game gets intense now. I mean, I'm still safe. The microphone is still not active, so. Hey, all I'm saying is once that symbol goes away, that's when we know shit's about to go down. So it looks like the microphone is active now. And if I speak any louder than I am speaking right now, I will be dying. Okay, medicines. Gotta be very careful with, uh, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. I think if the red dots or the the red squares reach three, then it means that's gonna be like right next to me. And I can already hear it. Oh fuck. Did I walk too fast? Hello? Oh shit. Oh my god, I think. I think I caused his death. I'm sorry. I was just trying to check. I mean, I don't want to redo this, but I do want to see what happens when it comes for me. Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where is it? What the fuck? Where did it even come from? Oh no. my god, okay. I, I just wanted to see what happens and you know what the animation <laughs> looks like and I, I kind of really wanted to fuck with it too. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh my god! 
It's right there. Don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. This was real life, bro. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Dude, there's glass right there. Oh god. Oh, I'm invincible here, okay. Yeah. Are you gonna go that way anyways? Why would you go that way? Oh. God, I can't go through the glass. Oh God. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. 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 oh my God, face the creature. So I'm gonna have to stay around then. Okay, let's see. There's a path that way. Fuck, what the fuck, there's water. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. It's coming this way, it's coming this way. Don't tell me there's more water that way. There's a puddle of water there. Oh god, come on, go down, go down. Thank god, thank god, thank god, thank god. It's gonna Fuck you!
Thank God. Oh my God. That was fucking crazy. It does get very intense. All right, so we've escaped the hospital. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I'd like to end the, uh, I'd like to end the demo here. Well, it's not sort of a demo, but this is this is a good place to end first hour of the game or the first few minutes of the game. I feel like it gives you a good idea. You know, it introduces you to the story. Who's the main character? Um, what's the environment like? What are the mechanics like? What do certain things in the game mean? Like the lungs, um, how to prevent an attack or in then um, in an event of a attack, you know, going through an attack, how to get out of it and meds, asthma pump, the phenometer. I don't know if there's weapons, but I also know that there there is certain areas in the game where you will be given um, objects to throw to distract the creature because I feel like what we just did where we faced the creature and it was kind of creeping around and we have to cross the area while being away from it. I feel like that's going to get bigger and bigger as we play more of this and it's going to get harder. So the uh, bricks and the glasses being there to distract the creatures when you're doing all of that. And yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not too sure how big the campaign is, but from what I heard, I think it's a couple hours. Now, I don't know, maybe I will continue and, you know, eventually finish this series. But I just wanted to make a video on what the game was like and what to expect from it, you know. And, you know, if you enjoyed this, you could uh, give it a shot yourself. There is no free demo or anything like that, unfortunately. But the positive side is that this game cost me like $25 Canadian. So... It's a relatively cheap game, you know, and it's perfect for Halloween season. So if you're looking to play something spooky, something intense with yourself or, you know, someone, your friends or something, this game is perfect. And yeah, the noise immersion with your microphone is definitely a really good feature. I feel like that really, you know, puts you into the game and makes you be more careful in a horror game you know you have to act like you're actually there so yeah it's pretty intense and even in cutscenes, it catches you off guard like you think that you'd be safe in a cutscene, but no you're not so that's that that's pretty funny but i do like that so yeah that's quite place um for you and if you haven't tried it out i would recommend you to try it out you know yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.